Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster Bring you guys another video guys. I think it is time to uh, give you guys the official exotic motion room setup you guys. Let's turn on the light real quick. So this is basically, I'm not going to give you guys a house tour yet, but I will give you a bedroom setup tour right now. So as you guys can see, these are the stairs coming upstairs um, and then we have the bathroom. I'm not going to show you the other people's rooms living in the house, but there's one, two, their bathroom, three of them, and then this is my room right here, the master room. Here comes the moment of truth that a lot of you guys have been waiting for. A lot of people asked me to do the setup tour, so I got you guys right now. The chandelier, the chandelier looking on, is this, it looks good, man. It looks really, really good. But guys, without further ado, it's time to show you. So right when you walk over here, let's turn on the light. Right when you walk in, this is what you see in the daytime the exotic motion bedroom tour guys. Now I don't know why I'm sizing up this bedroom tour, this bedroom setup video, like it's gonna be something crazy, but I just wanted to bring it to you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking, you can see from the webcam in the live stream, something along the lines of like, like this, zoomed in where I'm just sitting here gaming, so you can barely see anything, but in the webcam you do see the bed, the lights and stuff like that, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got going on in my room. So starting off, right when you walk in, you have a mirror right here. This is usually the mirror that like whenever I want to get ready and stuff let me turn on the lights whenever you want to get ready and stuff this is the mirror that you just look in yourself you're like all right this is a good outfit let me go go out and you go out and do your thing so it's just kind of like a checkup mirror it's really nice big mirror clean mirror I like it moving on to just a normal like Walmart lamp that you get at Walmart and then I have a huge light bulb inside of there so you can actually like dim it down you can dim it back up it's up to you on how you want to dim it, which is really cool. I definitely like that feature a lot because sometimes I'll dim the lights, but I usually do it from my phone. I don't usually do it from the light switch right here. And what's cool about this light switch is it's a hue light switch. So like, as you can see, you can take this off and bring it anywhere you want. It's right next to a normal light switch. You don't need to drill it in anywhere. It just sticks on like a sticker. It's really cool. And then above that, we have just a little Dragon Ball Z, just a little art. We got art around the room everywhere. We got a VGU. Uh, this is the Video Games United tournament thing that I went to. We have Shenron over here. This thing, I was supposed, it was supposed to be a lot bigger, but it's not, but it's okay. I'm happy with that. And then some more stuff. Hanging around the walls, we have my family picture, of course, because my family moved out. Gotta have the family picture next to the gaming setup. We got the YouTube plaque. Over here, we have the Smash Con, Super Smash Bros. Uh, they have a, a tournament or a convention over here in Virginia that I go to every year. And then we have, of course, Charmeleon, the big sticker on the wall with the red wall paint, whatever you guys wanna call it. It looks really cool, I like it. Everything goes perfect. But that's everything in here. Then we got an ironing board, of course. If you gotta iron some clothes, moving on, we have a double door. I'll show you guys what's in there in a second. We got my shoe collection. Some of you guys are probably curious what kind of shoes I have. Just have normal Adidas shoes, um, nothing special. I don't really have any like hype beasts. I got NMDs, uh, different color NMDs. We got some Nikes down there, A6, all these type of running shoes. Nothing too special. Then right here we have two pairs of Chelsea boots and then we have two Yeezys. These are both uh, the creams. Not too hype beast, nothing special about those. And then moving on, we have my little dresser with another lamp, just a basic lamp. Got a hue light in there. This is a camera so that way I can see like what's going on in the front yard. We just got my uh, hue router thing and then my Orbi router for the whole house so that way everyone gets good internet. This is my master bed. This bed is freaking massive. I love this bed so much. It's, it's a king looking bed. It's got these pillars on it, these nice wooden pillars. Very solid as you can see, but I definitely love this bed a lot I got a little workbench and then I have this black desk. This is my parents old desk I bought it for them for Christmas one time for their setup gaming setup They don't really have a gaming setup, but when my parents did stay in this room I bought it for them so that way they can have like their own little computer setup and stuff like that But they didn't ever use it so they gave it to me and I was like, okay Well, I'll take it because why not so here we have some bills and stuff like that There's a ticket on there. I get tickets for my car because it's super illegal. We got some Nintendo switch games We got a trophy from back basketball and then we have my Nintendo switch with some controllers and stuff like that right there this is where I watch TV Netflix YouTube all that stuff whenever I'm laying in bed I just be over here watching TV then we got pops up here curious about the pops uh, I have a lot of different pops I mean starting off we have uh, some Kingdom Hearts we have Fortnite we have Rick and Morty we have Digimon we have my hero academia we have Attack on Titan. We got a lot of different pops and then up here we have even more which you probably can't even see on camera It's kind of hard, but we have a few South Park more Rick and Morty's. We have Naruto, Dragon Ball 
Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, all that other stuff up there as well. So with that being said, I think we covered basically all of this side of the bedroom. We got the bed, the shoes, the nightstand, the pops, the ironing board, all that stuff. Um, we covered this. These two closets right here are my clothes closet. It's a walk-in closet. Basically, this is my parents' stuff just in case that they come visit. They have clothes here. And then right here, we have my jackets. We have dirty clothes. We have my ties and stuff like that. In one closet, that's one of the closets. The dirty clothes, I guess, go there with the jackets. Moving on to the next closet, we have this one. This is where all my clothes are. Now again, I'm not a hype beast. I don't have hype beast clothes, but we have just normal shirts. My pants are up there. It's kind of a little messy. We have colored shirts over here. Down here, we have kind of dress shirts down there. And then of course, we have my hat, my hat collection over here. Um, some bandanas and stuff like that. Boxing gloves, gym equipment, stuff like that. Cleaning equipment, so candles, air scents, Tide Pods, all that stuff right there. And then this is kind of like the junk drawer. This is where like the bags and stuff go for the camera, other things like that. My iPhone case, these are all the cable cords, anything that I have like HDMI, Ethernet, all the cables go inside of this little bin right there. And then we have my safe where I have all my personal secret stuff that I need to keep like, actually you guys don't really need to know about that. But moving on, we have the gaming setup. As you guys can see, this is a stand up desk. This desk is called an uplift desk. It's actually really, really cool. Don't mind the wire management. I want to get like a cable tray so I can actually hang all the stuff up underneath the desk But I haven't found any available. And I haven't really had the time to do it But we have the internet up here amazing internet. We have files, which is I think a thousand I think it's a thousand up a thousand down, but we're not getting that we get like 800 800 which is perfectly fine with me It's good enough for me to actually stream play video games and for other people to play as well in the house So I love the internet, but this is the setup man. I mean we got three Normal Asus monitors, these are all one millisecond response time, and then we have this, I think it's an LG monitor, this is like a 30 inch maybe, 20 something, probably a 30 inch. But these two right here, this one and this one is set up for the Mac that we have down here, which is basically my editing station, and then this one and this one is for my PC right here, which I have for gaming and stuff like that. We have a Rosewell off-brand keyboard, but I love it, it's not too clicky, like I didn't want a Razer keyboard because they click way too much, and as a streamer I don't want it to be clicking like click 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 all that's all you hear so I decided to turn that off we have a razor mouse I love this razor mouse uh, just a I buy power mouse pad that came with the, the PC we got Bose speakers we have the PlayStation 4 over there we have just little 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 sticky notes and pens if I need to keep notes we have an Alexa and then we have this that my mom left here for me the little little cat that just waves at you and then we have the uh, blue Yeti microphone the shock mount the road arm that comes with it actually it didn't come with it, it was a hundred dollars this thing's expensive but I love it because when I'm playing it's just I can just move it out the way if I want to like for instance if I'm not playing I can just move it over here completely out the way and I could just play without the mic just being in the way which is really cool but the only thing that I use this thing for is streaming and playing games guys this TV right here this is for watching stuff but moving on from the gaming setup oh what's cool about this desk is that I can push a button and then it drops down so I could either play standing up or I can play sitting down as you can see it's starting to drop down um, and then this is the gaming chair that I use nothing special just a normal chair and as you can see it's now at the floor so I can pull up a chair and start playing sitting down usually this is what I do when I'm streaming or making a video or anything like that but sometimes if your back starts hurting because I have a bad back um, I'll go ahead and push one of these set programs and it'll lift up the desk automatically but moving on we have this big mirror so you can see your outfit if you if you like your outfit or not and then we have this Christmas tree which I'm going to be taking down a big old AC unit because I love I love when my room's cold we have a recycling trash can and then a normal trash can another dresser and that's basically it I mean this is just a normal light as you guys can see you get from Walmart I have a few tags from places I've gone smash con uh, Evo stuff like that and then besides that I mean that's basically it here's the desk standing up as you guys can see moving on to the last thing is this double-decker door um this is my private bathroom as you guys can see walking in here's my private bathroom got a nice huge mirror this is like a really really massive mirror we got my top towel rack toilet scale bathtub shower sink sink and all my like toothbrush uh, shaving stuff lotion, deodorant, contact, all my stuff for my bathroom. So that's basically it for the video guys um nothing too special going on in my room but this is my gaming setup i know a lot of you guys asked to see what it looks like and stuff now i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at night because i know at nighttime it looks a lot better than this as you guys can see this is what it looks like at nighttime now yes the camera quality is probably not the best in the world but i'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like at night because it does look a lot better as you can see over in the corner 
Um, everything looks a lot better. I mean, just the hue lights inside of every single light. We got one, two, three over there. One is an LED strip and then one right there. So I think that's what, four? Plus the LED behind the desk. So that's five hue lights all hooked up to my bridge, which is over here. As you guys can see, we got the hue bridge. But it, it looks good. I mean, everything looks good with, with the lighting just like this. The Christmas tree, whoa, this is going to be taken down when New Year's comes around. We got the Christmas tree. We have the Christmas lights above the bed. Everything looks so much better at night. As you can see, my gaming setup we have the the keyboard that lights up we got the mouse that lights up the four monitors and then the the lcd screen on the pc which you can't really tell but again i could change the colors of all these lights all on my own but i think that just the gaming setup looks sexy like this at night like look at this setup you can't you can't go wrong with the setup looking like that but again you got to remember that i can just easily push this button i have a light switch that i installed myself push the button it's a light switch you can actually change the colors back to like normal lighting as you can tell just normal lights all over the place so that way if you don't want to just have that gaming vibe and you just want to play the game or just have the bedroom lighting being normal you can actually see like this but i still think everything looks so much better at night and that's why i wanted to show you guys it but let's let's change the colors as you can see here on my phone let's go to the bedroom lighting we can actually change the color let's see if this will focus as you can see we can change the color let's go to like pink or something like that as you can see everything is pink it looks really good we can switch colors to blue we can go over to teal go to green a green color would look good if we're like an optic um we can go yellow and then red and any of the colors that we want I think purple probably looks the best though just because the, the the vibe that it gives is really nice and then with the TV on I can just watch movies dim the lights down a little bit I think it just it looks a lot better but let's go back to check out what it looks like in the daytime all right guys welcome back to the daytime guys that's all i have for you in today's video if you please can give this video a thumbs up if you want to see like a whole house tour of what our house looks like i only showed you like the little the little foyer area i don't know what they call it fanciness i don't know I'm, I'm still young trying to make it on my own out here without my parents and stuff like that but guys if you please can give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video peace